drop it in. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing where it was. It's like actually, it was one and a half bricks. I hope it finished, man. Here's our potential alcohol. I guess that's potential, but it's all it's been fulfilled. Now here's our. We're going to transfer the fermented must from the fermenter to these homemade jugs into these five gallon buckets, then upstairs to be pressed. And they'll end up down here. All right. This is slow. Well, I guess it's not that slow, but take a few of these. Get this done. We had like 21 gallons of must, right? We added about three gallons of water, 2.75. Close to three, yeah. Gallons of water, so should be. Finally, get to see the real color. Bring him into daylight for the first time. Looks nice. Ready to go. Ready to be pressed. We don't want to get them in the threads because it's kind of getting the grease on the stuff. First one should be pouring. It's pouring. All right, here we go. Yeah, I got to get ready. Here we go. Preparing for the actual press. Put them on top. All we have so far is that much wine. Blocks go into place. Squeeze it down, bursting out the edges here. Here we go, it's Trent pressing. Oh. Just caught some grapes there. <laughs> Get nice. I, get I feel like the boy in the dam. Putting his finger in. <laughs> We're gonna lose a glass of wine here, so. I guess that's why you clean the outside of the press too, because it comes through every little bit. I scrubbed this thing pretty good. This is an old press, man. This thing must be 20 or 30 years old, at least. Straight from Italy, right? Yeah, it's an Italian press. Bucket transfer. Aha! Very good. Almost. This is our cake after the first uh, press. The big it actually cake. took the shape. Took the shape of the press completely. It's still a little soft and soft, so you can probably get a lot more. First casualty, yellow jacket. We're getting down towards the end here. This is a uh, combination of the must from both loads of uh, must. It's being squeezed down, and this will be it once we get this down pretty firm. We will uh, end the process. And this is the final uh, cake. Cake's the right word, Trent? Yeah. So what we're left with, this was the equivalent of uh, how many pounds of grapes? 160 pounds of grapes. Squeezed down to this. Very impressive. Very cool. 
Here's our final yield of uh, about 15 gallons. This will allow uh, one-way filtration. I allow it to bubble off. Continues to ferment just a little bit in these bottles. Really topped off, that's the goal. One, two, and then of course the third one. We're gonna be purchasing another carboy. Beautiful.